Hey guys, have you come across a question how to remember all the syntax in programming world? Say you are new to a coding world or you want to switch or fresh start your career as automation developer. So maybe you are uh, learning on the Selenium with the Java or Python or Cypress using JavaScript and you figure out like there is lots of uh, you know the syntax itself from those API as well as the programming language you're using say Java uh, you know JavaScript or Python so the during your learning journey you feel like it's so many syntax to remember and is there a way to remember or memorizing those things a lot of you know even a lot of my uh, students they ask me this question how to remember or memorize all these syntaxes then you know here i am you know it's it comes with uh, more than 13 years experience as a qa director instructor um i have some guideline and tips to my all the students especially all the new you know the the fresher guys uh, who wants to switch or start their career in a in an automation developer or even is in a software developer you know those are the common tips uh and the guideline will help you and make your uh learning journey much more uh, simpler and uh, and uh, uh, helpful. Let's see what are those. Number one, understand the logic, not just the, the syntax. Okay, so you try to understand the logic of the syntax, and not to memorize. So instead of memorizing, understand why a syntax structure in a certain way example instead of memorizing all the selenium so wait command we notice that we have a wait command in selenium it's like implicitly explicitly wait so try to understand the implicitly wait for all the that it's applied to all the elements it is a like global wait on the other hand there is explicitly wait which is applied to a specific condition to a specific element here is an example uh you know selenium implicitly wait so here is it. the code is like this the syntax is like driver dot manage times south implicitly wait and there is a duration of four seconds so if you just try to memorize it's quick to be impossible for you you know uh, to memorize those syntax rather you know you try to understand the meanings right so here is a driver you know the the web driver api they have a lots of methods like so the manage you know the manage method so you can say hey driver manage manage what the time sound you know it's going to because it's that what it's all is about to manage the time you know uh to to apply some of the weight you know uh so manage the time sound so time sound which time sound is that implicitly or explicitly so you can say it's it's an implicitly weight implicitly weight then how long here is the duration of seconds four seconds so this is the way you know you can understand the meaning of the syntax that will help you not to memorize but uh, you know but it's the understanding that how it works the 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 way it works then is going to be easier by doing more and more practice uh, you know uh, to to uh, you know soak up those stuffs so once you understand how it works you will need to memorize it okay next practice regularly it's a learn by doing not memorizing so write your code every day you know repeat it so repeat repetition things makes more perfect you know will help you to automatically naturally to memorize it work on a small project you know uh with using those you know the syntax automatically when you work on a small real life project you are going to use a lot all different the syntax and it will help you to learn again naturally debugging errors will also re reinforce the correct you know the syntax over the time so over the time you know when you face some of the errors and you apply uh, you you debug those errors the more more you you know resolve the errors it will help you to understand better and also you know uh not the, again not the memorize but it's a natural memorizing so you know automatically you will able to and you know uh, able to understand it 
use coding exercise and challenges on different platforms. There is a lead code, you know, the hacker rank and code work. You can use any one of them. The more you do practice, you know, it's going to be easier for you. The next one. Use cheat sheet and quick references. So cheat sheet is a great thing. Uh, you know, it's in one place. Uh, uh, you can have all different command syntax together with some meanings. So you can have a download cheat sheet for different languages for Java, whatever the language you're learning. So example, Java, Python, or even Selenium or, or SQL. And here is a, uh, you know, one of the websites that I, I use a lot. And then online, you can find tons of cheat sheet, whatever related with the, the technology. So here is a, one of the websites you can find cheat sheet.org. You know, uh, that can help you to have a very quick syntax as a reference. Uh, uh, you can uh, you can find there and you can download those things. There is one of the sites for cheat sheet. So here is a, you can you know uh, download uh, whatever the cheat sheet you are looking for. So example for the programming you know so the Java Java script will find you know cheat sheet. So here I can show you say example uh, cheat sheet related to the Selenium Selenium. So if you just type a Selenium here, you'll find the Selenium web driver related cheat sheets here. You'll find all the internal command that's we mostly we use with the Selenium, like you know, for different Selenium locators, you know, the uh element validation methods, right? So how to handle multiple windows, you know, all those things, right? So here is all the including the meanings, all those things. So it's really helpful, especially when you are the beginner. You know, it's, uh, the cheat sheets can uh, can help you. I can find all the commands related that mostly you are going to use uh, in your project. Okay. And in addition, you know, you can create your own document like Google Doc. You can put all the notes, all the syntax. Uh, you know, uh, the way you can easily understand. So it's going to be your own notes. You know, uh, all the explanations, easy explanations, and you can use as a uh, use the, those documents as a reference whenever you need, or, you know, when you face or when you do your project. Next, you can use mnemonics. So mnemonics is nothing, uh, you know, uh, uh, we, we have learned in our school too. We used to do a lot of, uh, create a lot of mnemonics uh, to remember the complex things. Complex, uh, similarly in the coding, you know, for complex syntax, uh, you can you can create your own mnemonics uh, to remember some complex stuff. For example, you know, remember the Java collection hierarchy. So Java collection hierarchy, we know it's like list, set, map. So you can create, here is a one mnemonic. So uh, the lazy software makes mistake. So here is a lazy stands for list, you know, so, and software is a set and the make mistakes, uh, and which is the refer to map. So, you know, it's easy to remember the complex stuff. On the other hand, here is an example also uh, the difference between statics versus non-statics methods in Java. The so statics methods, uh, we all know this. If it's a method in statics, you can directly call by the name of that metics, uh, method, right? Which is belongs to the class. Uh, you can share it. Uh, and you don't need to create any object reference. Use the object reference to call any static method. Other hand, non-static method, which is belongs to an object, so to call the non-static non method, you have to use the object reference, you know, to call any non-static method. So it's totally up to you how you're going to create some uh, mnemonics uh, to remember the complex steps. And last not the least, here is a, the, you can use AI nowadays uh, or auto-suggestion tools. Now auto-suggestion option in your IDEs or whatever the you know the tools you're or you're, you're coding writing your code you you are using like IntelliJ you know Eclipse or BS Code. Uh, let's an example in uh, in uh, Eclipse. So in, in Eclipse, you know in a Java here is I open Eclipse and in Java uh, we we have a command for print statement system dot out dot print ln. So instead of writing the whole syntax, you know you can use the auto suggestion one like sys out if you type sys out then control then a space on your keyboard you'll see there's an option comes up automatically here is a sys out if you then hit enter automatically it will fill up the rest of the command so you don't have to write the whole syntax that's one option and then again from the selenium 
we know the selenium is a driver so we use the driver and it has a chaining method like a driver dot so example if you want to find it find the element so we, if you just type find you can see the relevant method both find element and find the elements shows so you can select the example first one find the element then find the element you know what attribute you want to use so we have to use time over here inside as a by dot then you can see all the different relevant method that you can use to find any element right it's like css selectors id xpath and whatever it is so if you just select from there now you have to just put the attribute value id value up here right so you so in this way using the auto suggestion it's much easier to write your syntax and in the correct way okay so this is an example for the auto suggestion that you can use from your id similarly if you use intellij or even uh, microsoft vs code you know, all have the nowadays those tools are very smart nowadays and they have the auto suggestion option that can help you to write your uh, syntax automatically and on the other hand you know uh, nowadays you can use even chat gpt like you know uh, the ai tools are, are cloudy or you know the copilot or stack overflow for a quick syntax lookup if you are confused you can just write this example you know uh, write a code write a selenium code uh, for implicitly wait in selenium using the uh, java you will see this you know chat gpt will write that code for you but before you use it remember always you have to understand the meaning the code the how the 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 code it works what's the meaning of that code then it, you can use anywhere as long as you understand it okay so next is like here is a summary or you can say high level the best practice all together so practice daily work on the real life you know the real world is small project at the beginning keep your cheat sheets uh, or use you know auto completion auto suggestion you, you know uh, whatever the tools ideas you are using or use your own create your own uh, documentation own notes understand the concept instead of memorizing the concept of the syntax you know how it's uh, the syntax is created this way. what is the meaning how this syntax works and use the you know mnemonics or you know the personal node as i said or even you know the ai tools nowadays for your quick recall so that's all about that you know the very simple uh, the guideline especially for the beginner hope uh, it will help uh, help you you know uh, to make your learning journey easy thank you so much